<laughs> okay, hey guys. Um, today I told you that it's wow, story time, so it's gonna be story time. So I guess I'm just gonna like tell you about my ghost experiences in my old house that I lived in. I will put the address down below. I should write this down because last time I had a lot of trouble. And before I do that, um, just a second. You know what? I just write on the back of this. Um, um, uh, the previous video before this is still processing. <laughs> well, I'm just really bored and I really need to make videos. I need to keep on so okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. I like I can make a double chin. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um. So there is the first one that is most scary. Um. So like I'm just gonna tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> my voice just cracked. I've been screaming a lot today. Because <laughs> I've been swimming and standing on inner tubes and being awesome. But, anyway, I'm just going to tell you how it felt in the house. It kind of felt like somebody was just like following you, I guess, and about to like come with something. Like, you know, like when you like have a surprise party and you walk into a dark room and then like they just go run and then they just kind of you're like oh, that's what you felt like pretty much every single step we took in that house when you're alone like if you went downstairs like it just felt like something was gonna go like dun, 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 dun. stay up yeah i didn't really like that feeling but yeah, that's what happened, and so I'll start out with it. Um, I'm tired today. Ow! My skin is sticking to this chair. It's hot. Um. Anyway, this. So I was sleeping and then like okay so i woke up one morning and then my brother came in or downstairs came watching TV. he's like last night i heard like tapping noises on my thing and then the shadow and then i'm like okay whatever blah 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 and then i just got all sassy at him and i didn't believe him and then that night there was knocking noises on my dresser and a shadow appeared on the wall and I woke up my dad and he turned on the light and he said that there's nothing there. So then I went back to bed and then the next night it happened again and he turned on the light again and he did it and it was gone again so then I did it <laughs> that was my arm <laughs> but um I was there and I went oh, so much for me <laughs> um uh, it happened again the night after that, and my dad didn't turn on the light this time, and he actually saw the shadow on the wall. But, like, it just appeared, and I just woke up randomly. And I, and my dad invited me, or actually, he invited me to sleep downstairs. 
and it actually followed me all the way downstairs to be in the, the shadow so it was like we had this like big huge armoire type thing and like a bookshelf let's say it was a bookshelf what swimming <laughs> but it was a bookshelf and it was standing right there so then I went into my dad's like it was like this little clothes in closet place I guess and I went in here and I slept with him and like in the dark like I kept on like seeing like weird faces that would come at me and then disappear it was really creepy that night but then I finally went to bed at like midnight and then my after that like my dad started screaming and my sister slept with me for the past like month after that and she she's like a lifesaver and so is my dad and I cannot thank them so much for doing that and I want to have a shout out to all my family because they're awesome, all my family is awesome and my stepmom's awesome, my dad's awesome, my brother's awesome, my sister's awesome, Chrissy's awesome, my mom's awesome, so yeah. I love them all very much. Megan! I could not live without them. So, I. But yeah, that's what happened that, that time for all my ghost stories. And then I have another one. So, at the time being, I thought that. It was Abraham Lincoln in my house, but it actually wasn't because most people dress like this. So I thought, so when I was little, or I was in, I think, third grade, and I was walking down to go get something to eat through my kitchen, and all of a sudden I just saw a big tall person with a top hat that's why I thought he was Abraham Lincoln because I just have done a project on him so I saw him walk right through my dining room table in my dining room through the kitchen and what do I decide to do oh I'm just gonna go follow it so I go in the dining room go like sneak in the like area it's kind of like this open area so I go sneak and go peek and he walks right through the door that was right there and it freaked me out so bad my brother was out or like upstairs so I ran upstairs as fast as I could and I told my brother what happened and then he's like oh yeah I saw it at 2 this morning and I'm like oh, okay but yeah <laughs> Um, uh, well that's what happened, but it, I, I'm guessing it was just like a really old timer person, was, it was, probably wasn't Abraham Lincoln, but, cause, like, I don't know, because ours, I think it was built in the 1930s, our house was? And I think it was remodeled to 1960s, so I'm not sure what happens. So, thanks for watching my story time and become a winged cat. And I will try to post as much videos as I can tomorrow because I don't have my computer. And I will probably be doing vlogs tomorrow and having a vlog with, yeah, so I'll be probably having fun and just being awesome. And I'll probably introduce you to the other half of my family then and my puppy and my one frog that I have. And the cage is really dirty, just beware. And I'll give you a tour of my room then too.
So, thank you guys for watching and subscribe and be awesome and do a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Sorry if you don't believe me, but that's what I saw. But yeah. So, yeah. Out.